Devo dire che niente. Eh no. I was fortunate enough at school to have a chemistry teacher who allowed me to become a lab monitor. And there were two of us and we could play with chemicals in the lab and do crazy experiments unsupervised on our own, uh, probably completely against health and safety regulations these days. My dad was a chemist and he died when I was quite young and I was the oldest in the family and I think there was that kind of expectation here, there was a bit of uh, heroism around his life that emerged in the family and friends and I felt I wanted to emulate him and to, to be a chemist myself because of his, uh, the example he set. Today I would say the toughest question for a chemist to solve is how to turn carbon dioxide back into a combustible fuel like methane because carbon dioxide is at the bottom of the mountain in terms of energy. It's the most oxidized form of carbon, if you like. And methane is at the top of the mountain having four hydrogens and no oxygens. And methane can burn into, and give carbon dioxide. So to find a, an efficient, catalytic, cheap, probably based on sunlight, method of converting carbon dioxide back to methane, and that would involve using water as well, to get the hydrogens is one of the grand challenges for society. How do you deal with frustration in the lab? That's a really good, I think that's almost the precondition to finding out whether or not research is for you. And I've heard people talk about that. I heard a DVC research in Melbourne say if that doesn't make you get up out of bed every morning then probably research isn't for you. Dire che ne... Eh no.